He convinced Voyager to turn its camera back towards Earth. And it's what basically amounts to Earth's first ever selfie. And that picture was taken, and there was these pale blue dots. This one has made the farthest track from Voyager at home. She carries a message for a billion people, a few years hence. Nevertheless, Voyager 1 has spent more than 45 years studying the universe. It hasn't seen everything yet. Finding something fresh each day, and Neil recently validated this discovery. DeGrasse Tyson is yet unknown to the science-based universe. The spaceship has just discovered 775 heavenly objects items, while investigating interstellar space is home to these enigmatic celestial actual items or the outcome of incorrect data transfer from NASA's Voyager 1, could they be the creations of strangers from space? Come along in this video. While investigating how Voyager 1 recently discovered 775 unidentified objects moving through in room. Neil deGrasse Tyson is well known. Concern within the scientific community that he joined formally after he acquired admittance to Harvard to study physics academia. An author and astrophysicist, Tyson, the science communicator, has been a support growing the activities of according to him, NASA is inadequately funded to carry out the task efficiently, which must be completed. In addition to advocating for more NASA Neil deGrasse Tyson's funding, has never avoided having talks on what happened throughout the cosmos prior to our arrival. He also thinks, because a great deal of things remain unknown to us, understand the cosmos in which we reside, and it is only right to investigate them. Explains the reason Tyson was drawn to it. Lately, Voyager 1 discovered 775 undiscovered things are circling the universe. The planet Mother Earth is an amazing place with many astounding features, but in contrast to the rest of the cosmos, is only a small dot. Scholars have realized this for a number of centuries, but they were unable to provide evidence for this. Declaratory until NASA scientists arrived. In addition to a remarkable creation in the 1970s, Yet this innovation might not have emerged, if not due to the constellation alignment, which in the actual the four greatest planets of sense, our solar array. The positioning of the four planets had gone mostly unrecognized. Up till Gary noticed it, Flandro, a California PhD candidate technology institute. Flandro, a part-time employee at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory Laboratory, determined the orbits of the massive planets Uranus, Saturn, and Jupiter and Neptune stumbled while doing this, upon an extraordinary item. He discovered that late in the 1970s and early in the 1980s, every imagined four planets linked together like pearls, on a long arc-shaped celestial necklace along with Earth. This revelation thrilled superiors at NASA, as a result of his being assigned the duty of learning the most effective means of launching a space probe into NASA, scientists saw this extraordinary occurrence unfold before their eyes, and Jupiter and the other major planets followed suit. It implied that a spacecraft could reach an acceleration caused by the gravitational pull of every massive planet it traversed, would feel as though someone is pulling on it, invisible rope that broke at the final, secondly, sending the probe sailing off. According to Flandreau computations, it was concluded that the recurrent gravity, the planet's assistance will reduce the duration of flight between Earth and from 30 to 12 years old, Neptune decades. But there was one obstacle to the anticipation for this revelation. Once in, the alignment happened, around 176 years. Therefore, a spacecraft would need to be launched in the middle of the event in order to reach the planet. The 1970s. This data was forwarded to the, the Space Agency and the leadership of NASA, resolved to take advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity possibility by creating two spaceships. This pair of spacecraft is referred to as Voyagers 1 and 2. That spacecraft are identical in every way, since their details are the same. Yet they were launched in less than 15 days after one another in 1977's summer. Voyager 1 was launched specifically into September 15th, space 1976. The spacecraft belongs to the The Voyager space program is responsible for the goal of solar system exploration and the interstellar medium for our advantage. Voyager 1 has been functioning since nearly 50 years and has been speaking with scientists in the field community via NASA's Deep Space Mission Connect. It gets regular instructions and sends the information back to Earth. As we ability to track the distance in real time and velocity information courtesy of NASA and its as of August, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. 
As of 2023, the spacecraft was located 24 a billion kilometers from Earth, this making it the furthest artificial object item away from the planet. The aircraft. The propulsion lab carried out the, the planning and building of Voyager 1. After launch, the probe left our planet. The Cape Canaveral Air Complex, Complex 41 Voyager 1, was sent into orbit two weeks after its twin, Voyager 2, from Force Station, using a Titan 3E launch vehicle. NASA sent out the probe, using the the purpose of carrying out space exploration. The interstellar medium and the heliosphere NASA had shown great interest in investigating the past or present. Between the Voyager and the star's objective was to turn this vision into a reality. Actuality. In its early stages of development, NASA experts in science had determined that a spacecraft had to pass overhead, Jupiter, Saturn, and the biggest of the latte, whereas Titan, the Moon, and Voyager 1 had been debuted after its twin, yet it was still reached Jupiter ahead of Voyager 2. Investigated the two gas giants, researching their magnetic fields and rings during weather. Thank you to Voyager 1 for enabling us to obtain detailed photos of Jupiter's moons and Saturn. As already stated, the Voyager vessel mission continued beyond examining Saturn and Jupiter. The area probe searched farther to find and examine areas and limits of the external. The heliosphere further expanded its operation that encompassed investigating the interplanetary space. The spaceship traversed the heliopause and moved into August 25th, Interstellar Space 2012. Making history, Voyager 1 was the first spaceship to accomplish this, since as fate would have it, we were given a evidence that the Voyager was, in fact, in interstellar space after two years. 2014 saw the spaceship start to encounter a third coronal mass tsunami wave ejecta from the solar surface, and this proceeded until that December 15th, a year. Voyager 1 provided us with the solar's first family portrait external view of the system. It also produced a well-known picture of the world, it quickly gained the moniker Pale Blue Dot. Voyager 1 emerged from the heliosphere, going directly towards the great space between worlds. It was time to investigate between the stars. Nonetheless, the tools of the probe continued its solar system research. The Voyager was supposed to finish their assignment. A long time ago, but the engineering group appears to have worked their magic at top of the spaceship. They've been successful in extending the mission of the spacecraft to 2025. At this time, it's anticipated that there wouldn't be enough electricity in it, ability to carry out its scientific equipment. The group accomplished this accomplishment. By evaluating the trajectory of the space probe adjustment move, TCM thrusters, in late 2017. It was the initial instance of these since 1980, thrusters have been fired. That the choice to activate the thrusters was made in adding two years to the mission's lifespan, three years. Take a peek at the profits, attained by Voyager 1 over the previous four decades, and it would be difficult to accept that the launch of the craft nearly failed in the 1977 summer. This was as a result of a launch component. The car had abruptly stopped, and consequently, 1,200 pounds of propellant were become unsullied. Nonetheless, Voyager 1 is now moving at a speed of around 523 million km annually. This relates to one light year every 18 years. Referring to traveling at the peak speed of Voyager 1 would have been unnecessary if it didn't have the appropriate 16 instruments in the spacecraft. Thrusters using hydrazine, three gyroscopes for axis stabilization, and sighting tools that maintain the, the radio antenna of the craft was facing the planet Earth. These tools function in tandem and contribute to the mindset and subsystem for articulation control. The Voyager craft's AACS has eight backup thrusters, as well as having an extra 11 scientific tools for examining astronomical objects, since it investigates the universe. The scientific among the tools are imaging science infrared system, radio science system, and UV interferometer, spectrometer triaxial flux gate, and spectrometer spectrometer and magnetometer for plasma. Low energy charged are the last five. Particle detector, system of cosmic rays, snapshot of planetary radio astronomy plasma wave, and polarimeter subsystem. A few of these devices are active, whereas the remainder are either inactive or flawed. Engineers from NASA created the radio communication method used by the Voyager 
will be utilized up to and including the boundaries of the solar system. The communication system has a high gain CAG grain antenna with a diameter of 3.7 meters to radio waves both to and from the three of the deep space network stations planet Earth. When the Voyager 1 can't speak with the Earth directly, it utilizes its digital tape recorder that about 67 megabits of data can be recorded by the DTR for transmission at a later date. As of 2023, it takes more than 22 hours for signals from the Voyager spacecraft to reach Earth. Furthermore, the Voyager was built with incredibly advanced cameras to capture pictures of planets, moons, and more heavenly entities from a separation. Nevertheless, the way the visible light cameras are not an automatic process. Rather, it is managed by a database of imaging parameters enclosed in a digital onboard device laptops. But NASA has moved past this. Design, given that subsequent space missions beginning in the 1990s, have been outfitted with fully independent cams. The cameras aboard Voyager 1 are managed by a computer command system called CCS Fixed Computer Programs, including command decoding, defect detection, antenna pointing, and spacecraft sequencing are included with the CCS. The CCS is an improvement over the model from the 1970s, Viking orbiters. It's been nearly five years, many years after Voyager 1 and its twin Voyager 2 was sent into orbit to examine the universe and present fascinating advancements in our understanding. The instruments on spacecraft have been functioning steadily over time by sending information back to Earth. One, would have thought that this spaceship, it is situated more than 14.1 billion kilometers away, removed from the planet, would have started to flop. However, this is not at all the case. While the, the computer systems of Voyager are still work, efficiently recording and sending information back to NASA scholars, NASA engineers are here to, I am grateful for Voyager 1's longevity in accomplishing the interstellar mission objectives. Scientists at NASA have succeeded in maintaining the operational capacity of the Voyager vessel using strength oversight and the application of duplicate computer subsystems. By turning off unnecessary systems, they have preserved the spacecraft's power and extended its lifespan. But it's not only about keeping up the durability of the apparatus, but guaranteeing that it is also capable of processing scientific information. It had to be this or the valuable spacecraft would be lost to situations that have changed throughout time. The Voyager spacecraft has operated independently since its launch by use of radioisotope thermoelectric generators, or RTGS. Another name for the radioisotope power system is a kind of nuclear power source that produces applying a thermocouple. By using the CIBC effect, the RTGS are utilized to transform heat from decaying plutonium into electricity. There are no moving parts on these generators, so parts wearing out or breaking is not a risk. More broken down. So they don't require solar power, which enables them to appropriate for isolated and harsh surroundings, like the hemisphere for long stretches of time, despite the positive aspects of the system of radioisotope power. The ongoing because of the decay process, the generators generate less energy each year for Voyager 1's use. Despite the diminishing power, the spacecraft's supply hasn't been impacted by mission results. NASA engineers made the choice to make the proactive decision to make up for it. Due to the loss, therefore they were forced to turn off the heaters and additional optional systems that have no impact on the spaceship operation capacities. But it appears like not just the optional systems are affected. It must be removed in order to maintain the aircraft in flight and sustain efficient information. Scientists studying transmission are taking into turning off a single device on the spacecraft. Even so, the choice is far appearing to have been designed for Voyager 1. Such as Voyager 2 will be the primary Endure. The consequences of having one of its five scientific devices were turned off. The rationale behind scientists' lack of concentrated on Voyager 1, however, is that one. The instruments on board the spaceship had early in its mission, it failed. Nevertheless, the choice of whether to move off a Voyager 1 device could be required in a few months, but after that, this choice might not be required as already, experts are keeping an eye out. Finding a substitute that will stop, stopping all Voyagers in order to NASA, scientists have initiated the instrument, examining a safety system that could safeguard the equipment, as explore the voltage of the spaceship. Shifts significantly, despite a voltage variations might harm the instruments. There is a voltage on board the Voyager. Regulator that triggers a fallback circuit 
if such a situation arises, then the circuit has limited access to energy from the designated generator. Aside for such an occasion at this time, rather than retaining this authority, the strategy is to, it is used by the spaceship as power workings of its science equipment. Consequently, the, the voltage of the spacecraft won't be closely controlled, thus this ought to be cause for worry. However, let us not forget that the Voyager. The flight of craft dates back more than 45. Their electrical systems are outdated by years. Still steady, therefore this reduces the matter the risk. The necessity for a safety net may exist, but it's insignificant, and NASA there will be engineers on top of the condition by consistently keeping an eye on the voltage and acting upon it should it swings too much. As a result, if this strategy functions with the Voyager 2. Subsequently, the requirement for the to lose a second Voyager Voyager 1's instrument has recorded the the scientific community's notice once more, given that it has lately discovered 500 unidentified space objects. Like this concerns have been raised about discovery. Since we are the scientific community, know so little about this recent discovered items. The transmitted data was first distorted, which makes it much more confusing. It wasn't corrected until scientists used the method of rerouting telemetry information to an operating computer. You can picture the glances at the scientists when they maintained obtaining interstellar data that is troublesome from orbit. When researchers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory quickly became operational, to determine the reason behind the strange data, they discovered where it was coming from. The Expression and Regulation of Attitude System, AACS. The AACS is a piece of onboard technology that modifies the vehicle's orbital location and measures reports. Scientists discovered that the AACS had shifted to sending its data home through this system's helpful antenna aimed towards the Earth. Telemetry information via an onboard computer, which had been tainted, since it had been ineffective for years. NASA. This was resolved by engineers by giving the AACS the order to begin sending its data via the appropriate computer. NASA has now started to receive unadulterated Voyager 1 data. Now the, the unanswered question in the space is, why did the AACS shift to utilizing the defective computer initially? Nevertheless, scientists at NASA have not determined that they have speculated that another onboard computer may have generated a defective order that the AACS received, but they are unsure about which one and what error would have caused the incident. The project manager for Suzanne Dodd Voyagers responded that they intended to perform a complete memory readout of the AACS and examine everything. It's been, do they think that this choice will aid in identifying the issue that caused the initial telemetry problem spot? Nevertheless, Jet Propulsion at NASA Laboratory has revealed that the AACS appears to be operational and that no fault protection systems aboard possess been triggered. Hence, the spaceship has not been compelled to switch to secure mode. Also, it hasn't indicated that one of the potential reasons for this oddity include the high temperature in outer space. The universe can be a very quiet place, severe, and act as a rival to the functioning of a spacecraft in flight, like the cosmic radiation from Voyager 1 and extreme variations in temperature are a. Some of the surrounding elements that may have an impact on the electronic systems of derail the Voyager craft, its functioning, such as cosmic radiation, composed of particles with tremendous energy that originate from far-off stars and heavenly, there are corpses in the enormous amid galaxies. These spacecraft radiation can enter the spacecraft's structures and modify the functioning of the sensitive electronic Voyager 1 systems. This radiation has the ability to create electrical hiccups, distort data signals, and cause mistakes in memory. Using falsified data, the temperatures at these quite remote locations occasionally drop to 202 degree F. Additionally, Voyager 1 is uncovered to the deeds of particles of dust and micrometeoroids, pieces of comets and asteroids. This may have a major impact on the procedure of the spaceship, similar to its twin, the Voyager 1's equipment for plasma waves have reliably identified dust impacts when the spaceship departed from into interstellar space beyond the sun. The truth, that the spacecraft is traveling quickly, 17 kilometers per s radial velocity, indicates that when a piece of dust hits the craft, it vaporizes nearly instantaneously and ionized, resulting in a quick lie-growing plasma cloud. 
that results in an electrical pulse in the PWS antennae. The violent clashes with the granules of interstellar dust may result in some harm to the system's functionality traveling vessels. Though it hasn't happened yet, the interstellar dust was verified. Particles may be the cause of Voyager 1's sending erratic data to NASA. While all of these recommendations could be the the cause of the malfunctioning computers used by travelers. That'd be incorrect to restrict the Route CA to these incidents. Some people have suggested that the incident might have been brought on by the actions of aliens from space. The scientific community is paying increasing attention to this intriguing idea, as more and more people consider it a plausible explanation for the odd occurrence. The premise forms the basis of the hypothesis, that an extraterrestrial species exists. A more developed civilization, more advanced than we are. The concept suggests that these aliens possess a, a deeper comprehension of standing in space investigating, and that the Voyager could have just arrived at their front door. There's a potential that the Voyager investigated deeper levels than what normal spaceships typically travel in addition. This could clarify the reason we have never observed these aliens up to this point, since they are situated too far away for us to travel. To determine whether they are there, should the Voyager having entered their domain, it is exclusively natural for these alien begins to attempt to master the trade, and this is odd, and could have caused actions. But if this incident indeed occurred, it would be very challenging to demonstrate it, since modern technology is constrained in terms of exploration interstellar distances that are specific. Furthermore, how can one locate beings that have most likely remained concealed for a few millennia? and are unwilling to be located ideally. Technology development will assist in launching spacecraft, which will not only travel farther while simultaneously detecting the regions of alien territory, if they do in fact exist. And we hope to solve the enigma of the 775 artifacts that were found by soon, Voyager 1 will be launched. Let's continue, keeping our fingers crossed as NASA scientists figure this out mystery. The aircraft. The propulsion lab carried out the, the planning and building of Voyager 1. After launch, the probe left our planet. The Cape Canaveral Air Complex, Complex 41 Voyager 1, was sent into orbit two weeks after its twin, Voyager 2, from Force Station, using a Titan 3E launch vehicle. NASA sent out the probe, using the the purpose of carrying out space exploration. The interstellar medium and the heliosphere NASA had shown great interest in investigating the past or present between the Voyager and the star's objective was to turn this vision into a reality, actuality. In its early stages of development, NASA experts in science had determined that a spacecraft had to pass overhead, Jupiter, Saturn, and the biggest of the latte, whereas Titan, the Moon, and Voyager 1 had been debuted after its twin, yet it was still reached Jupiter ahead of Voyager 2 investigated the two gas giants, researching their magnetic fields and rings during weather. Thank you to Voyager 1 for enabling us to obtain detailed photos of Jupiter's moons and Saturn. As already stated, the Voyager vessel mission continued beyond examining Saturn and Jupiter. The area probe searched farther to find and examine areas and limits of the external. The heliosphere further expanded its operation that encompass investigating the interplanetary space. The spaceship traversed the heliopause and moved into August 25th, Interstellar Space 2012. Making history, Voyager 1 was the first spaceship to accomplish this, since as fate would have it, we were given evidence that the Voyager was, in fact, in interstellar space after two years. 2014 saw the spaceship start to encounter a third coronal mass tsunami wave ejecta from the solar surface, and this proceeded until that December 15th, a year. Voyager 1 provided us with the solar's first family portrait external view of the system. It also produced a well-known picture of the world. It quickly gained the moniker Pale Blue Dot. Voyager 1 emerged from the heliosphere, going directly towards the great space between worlds. It was time to investigate between the stars. Nonetheless, the tools of the probe continued its solar system research. The Voyager was supposed to finish their assignment. A long time ago, but the engineering group appears to have worked their magic at top of the spaceship. They've been successful in extending the mission of the spacecraft to 2025. At this time, it's anticipated that there wouldn't be enough electricity in it, ability to carry out its scientific equipment, 